Hey, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, I'm now answering question um, number one from the Solomon C Mechanics M1 collection, which is question number three from my M1 end of topic worksheet, constant acceleration. This is from my Edexcel material, International A level Edexcel. Now here we're we've given we've been given this distance time graph. Okay, distance time graph, it's not a velocity time graph, it's not a speed time graph, it's a distance time graph. And it says so figure one shows a distance time graph for a car journey from Birmingham to Newquay, which included a stop for lunch at a service station near Exeter. During the first part of the journey, three quarters of the total distance was covered in three hours. After a one hour stop, the remaining distance was completed in two hours. Okay, so three hours, stop, two hours, three quarters of the distance, then one quarter of the distance. Calculate in the form K to 1 the ratio of the average speed during the first three hours of the journey to the average speed during the last two hours of the journey. Okay, so we want to find the ratio of the average speed. Now, the average speed, the average speed is equal to the total distance traveled. The total distance traveled over the total time taken. The total time taken. All right. So we've got these two sets. We've got the, the first part that we've got to look at is this section over here. Okay. The first part of the journey, this section here. And then we've got to look at this other section over here. And we've got to compare them and find the ratio of the um, average speeds. Okay, so if we think about the first section here, the, we can call this section 1 and call this section 2. So section 1, the average speed is going to be the total distance, which is, we can call it 3 quarters d, divided by the total time taken, which is 3. So that's 3d over 4, divided by 3, which is like multiplied by 3 over 1. If you divide two fractions... It's like you um, multiplying by the reciprocal of the second, right? It's like three quarters d divided by three is three quarters d times one over three. Um, times divided by three is like times one over three, sorry. What am I doing? Times one over three. Okay, three quarters d divided by three is three quarters d times one third. Sorry, yeah. So that's going to give you d over four. So the average speed in terms of d is d over four. Okay, and... For the second part of the journey, the average speed is going to be, well, that the speed, the, the, the distance is traveled is now a quarter d. It's like three quarters to, um, to one whole. So it's a quarter d, but this time this is divided by two hours, which is two. So it's going to be a quarter d um, multiplied by, it's going to be one over two. Okay, if you divide by 2, you're multiplying by a half. That's going to give you d over 8. Okay, so they're asking us for the ratio of the average speed from the first and the second part. So you've got the first part and the second part. The ratio is going to be d over 4 to d over 8. We want to write it in its simplest form. So let's get rid of the fractions. Let's multiply both sides by 8. If you do that, this becomes 8 times d over 4. Um, so that cancels out with that. That gives you 2, and that gives you 1. The d's will cancel out if you divide up both sides by d. So you end up with 2 to 1. Okay, 2d to 1d, which is 2 to 1. So that is the answer to part A. Pretty simple there. Okay, um, now for part B. It says, given that the average speed of the car over the whole journey, excluding the stop, was 80 kilometers per hour, find the average speed of the car on the first part of the journey. So the average speed, now it's very important for us to understand here, so it's excluding the stop. Excluding the stop. Okay, so that means the average speed is, as we said, the average speed is equal to the total um, distance, okay, over the time taken. Now, we're told the average speed is 80 kilometers per hour, excluding the stop. So we got to exclude this time. So we got we got three hours plus two hours. So the total distance is is D, and the total time is five hours. Okay, it's not 
six hours is five hours because you're excluding the stop. So it becomes three plus two, which is five hours. Therefore, we can say the total distance is going to be 400 um, kilometers. 400 kilometers. Okay, because this is in kilometers. So what we can say here, find the average speed on the first part of the journey. Therefore, for the first part of the journey, this is this is for the whole journey. Okay, this part. So we want to find now for the the average speed for the first part of the journey is going to be the total distance it traveled. Now it's traveled three quarters, three quarters of D. So three quarters times 400 over three hours. That's going to give you 300 over three, which is 100 kilometers per hour. And there's your answer for part B. Okay, so um, not too difficult, really. Just understanding what average speed means. Don't don't forget, excluding the stop. This is a distance time graph. It's not a velocity time graph. Don't think that speed is, uh, you know, um, the distance is like the area under the graph. Some people will, will, will try and find the areas here. No, this is a distance time graph. It's not a speed time. Speed time graphs, the area under the curve tells you the distance traveled here. This is the distance on the y-axis. So there's a few little points that you have to... And make sure you take into account. Um, so that concludes this question. Other questions from this particular Solomon C M1 paper. Um, if I've gone through it, it will be in the playlist over here. Other questions that I have answered from this endotopic worksheet on constant acceleration. Um, M1 will be found in this playlist. This is for the Edexcel collection that I have. And other questions generally from Edexcel that I have answered on constant acceleration. You can find in the playlist that's going to be in this area. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and the video that has been be appearing during this or the link that's been appearing at the top of the card links you to a video which tells you how to use my channel in order to uh, find things that you might need even in other examining boards, IGCSE, Cambridge, um, Edexcel, whatever, you, whatever I have, you can see how to find it by watching the video that's linked in that card. Um, Thank you for watching. See you soon.